Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Kat and I am the nomadic foodie. I love to travel, I love to eat. And of course, when I went to the Florida Keys, I was looking for really good food. So if you are planning to visit the Keys and you are looking for good food as well, keep watching because I am going to show you everything from Key Largo to Key West and even a private island off of Key West that we went to. So let's go. All right, so we are starting off with Key Largo. We are going to Key Largo Fisheries Backyard Cafe. If you check this place out on Google Maps, it's not the same menu. They have less items, I believe, and the prices went up a little bit. So just keep that in mind. And this is just a really relaxed, open air place just by the marina. A large portion of the seating area has really big fans with water mist coming out of it. So it really keeps you cool but they also have a covered area next to the marina itself. So if you wanna be right next to the boats, you can totally do that as well. And actually, if you don't want tiny particles in your drink or your food from the mist from the fans, you can sit by the boats instead of under this eating area. So we got the fried hogfish sandwich. It's a little pricey, but this is one of the specialties in the Florida Keys is hogfish. And I would definitely recommend this. It was really meaty and lightly breaded and fried and so good. It kind of melts in your mouth. I can't say much for the coleslaw I came with on the side. It was really bland. So I didn't even eat it, which says a lot about me because I hate wasting food, but I didn't even eat the coleslaw. <laughs> so skip the coleslaw, but the fish sandwich is delicious. Something else I got was the shrimp primavera. I actually wanted the shrimp burger, but they didn't have it that day, which by the way, this happens a lot. So they might have something on the menu, but they might not have it. So don't be surprised if that happens. It happens a lot in the Keys. So instead of a shrimp burger, I got the shrimp primavera, which was the special that day. So I took a chance on the shrimp primavera. The shrimp itself was really fresh and juicy, really flavorful, but the rest of the pasta lacked flavor and it needed a lot more cheese and seasoning in my opinion. So if you do come to Key Largo Fisheries Backyard Cafe, definitely get a fish sandwich. We actually have fresh friends that used to live in the Keys and this was one of their local spots that they would go to for fish sandwiches. All right, next up is Isla Morada. That's how you say it. It looks like Isla Morada, but it's Isla Morada. Just so you know. So we went to Morada Bay Cafe and we loved this place so much. You guys, if you want to eat on the sandy beach, like you can literally put your toes in the sand as you're eating and watching the sunset. This is the place for it. It's so beautiful here. A lot of palm trees and actually next door at Pierre's. They actually have weddings here. So this is a really beautiful place. We actually came here for one of our date nights. It was really romantic with the sunset, the tiki lights, and the string lights. And after sunset, if you're still here, you can see the stars. Oh, it's so nice here, guys. Just totally come for the ambiance. The vibe here is really low key. It's not like the, you know, loud live music bar type restaurants that's really popular as well. We did go to one of those, which I will share in another video here. They do have live music here, it seems, because there was some sort of stage in the area, but it's just a more relaxed and quiet place for couples. If you want to get a table closest to the water so you don't have any tables in front of you to watch the sunset, you would have to make a reservation, but the reservation privileges are only reserved for their hotel guests at Chica Lodge, which is across the street. So we didn't make a reservation, but we still got a really nice view on the sunset and you can kind of walk around a little bit here we actually went to this palm tree here it's bent it's like a postcard right look at this it was just so beautiful definitely recommend it just for the ambiance so i got the thai key west tacos and it's made with local wild pink shrimp so this is a local specialty the pink shrimp and it was tempura battered so this was a japanese style fried shrimp taco it had spiced sriracha aioli sauce it had thai basil cilantro pesto and it's just topped off with toasted coconut flakes super delicious i loved the flavor profile with the cilantro and pesto and the sriracha the coconut shrimp it was so delicious so i definitely recommend this one and my husband got the fried chicken sando island style he was <laughs> He was barely talking to me because he was eating so much. Like I wanted a bite and he kind of looked at me like, are you serious? 
So that's how good it was. He usually doesn't mind sharing, but this one, he was like, no, this is mine. So the fried chicken sando was a crispy organic coconut Caribbean jerk chicken thigh. Got that? So it's topped off with a slice of grilled sweet pineapple. It's got a spiced fiery aioli. It's got a kick to it. And it's got shaved crisp iceberg lettuce. And it's all on a toasted butter brioche bun. And brioche is so delicious anyways. But yeah, this fried chicken was so so good i definitely recommend that as well so the thing is with a lot of these restaurants that offer sunset views in the keys you might get a really good view but the food might just be mediocre at best but this place actually had both it had delicious food and an awesome sunset view and of course it's not the cheapest but neither are the other sunset restaurants either so at least the food here was delicious that we tried i would definitely recommend this place it's got a good ambience but it also has good value because the dishes were actually delicious my husband was asking about a drink to go with his fried chicken sando so our server recommended a local craft beer by the florida keys brewing company it was called Igual Wanna bake. So this is a light German style beer. It's made with barley, hops, water, and yeast. And it's got a hint of honey and hibiscus. And it's named Iguana Bait because the local iguana's favorite meal is baked beautiful hibiscus flowers. So there you go, a pale German style beer. It was just a hint of sweetness and it paired very well with either a shrimp taco or a fried chicken sandwich. All right, moving on even more south, we have Marathon Porky's Barbecue. So Porky's is actually known for barbecue, as the name implies, but we actually came here for their sushi. I I know hear me out here they had a really good selection of sushi and the price was really good too for what we got so let me show you what we got here so we got the tempura shrimp roll it's got tempura shrimp with avocado and asparagus topped with spicy mayo delicious we also got the spicy conch roll so it's got conch asparagus and masago topped with spicy sauce that was really good too the conch was a little chewy as can be expected but i liked that kick of the spiciness from that sauce so i recommend that as well and this was something different they had a barbecue pork fried roll this is for people who don't like sushi because <laughs> it wasn't sushi you guys um it's a sushi roll it's on their sushi menu but anyways i'll tell you what it is so it's got smoked barbecue pork and cheddar cheese it's topped with coleslaw sriracha mayo barbecue sauce and sesame seeds and they deep fry the whole thing and honestly it, it just tasted like i was eating barbecue pork with rice which it's not bad like it, it goes together but my husband was saying that it would have tasted like an asian style barbecue like um cha siu that might have been you know more fitting for the sushi roll but nonetheless if you have non-sushi eaters that want to look like they're eating sushi or if you are always looking for new types of creative sushi they get an a in my book for just their creativity of even trying this out um i probably wouldn't get it again but once again i do give them an a for for the creativity here something else we got was a sweet roll so this is coconut shrimp with cream cheese topped with crispy onion and sweet chili sauce this was my favorite one, actually. I love coconut shrimp anyways. And when you put coconut shrimp in sushi, yes. Thank you very much. I will, yeah, I will get this again. This was my favorite. So along with sushi, we were there for happy hour. So we actually got a barbecue brisket slider. It came piping hot. The bread was super fresh and soft, really good. The barbecue pork now, I would say 1 to 10, I would give it a solid 8. It wasn't the most flavorful pork I've had in my life, but it was good. So 8 out of 10, not bad. The sauce, the barbecue sauce was really, really good. It had a smoky flavor, but yeah, once again, it wasn't the most flavorful barbecue pork I've ever tasted, but it was good. And just a little side note for Porky's, we came here on our day when we went to the beach and went snorkeling at Bahia Honda State Park. This was just about about 15 minutes away from Bahia Honda. So this is my little bonus tip for you guys. If you do go to Bahia Honda to go snorkeling at the beach, 
um, you can leave that park and keep your receipt and you can go back to the park after you eat at no extra cost. So instead of having to eat like picnic food or chips all day, you can come to a restaurant like Porky's, have an amazing meal and go back to the park. So that's another option for you guys. If you want to see more, you can see this video here on the top right corner. So next up we have Key West. So we went to a private island called Sunset Keys. It's off the coast of Key West. So if you want the full details, I made a video all about this place. That's how good it was. A lot of people come to Key West, you know, because there are a lot of restaurants here in Key West. But this was such a unique experience to have a boat ride included in your meal. Take a boat out to the private island and have just ocean front dining. You're literally under a palm tree. The food was good. I liked my fish tacos here and my husband liked his turkey club and we also got key lime pie here and they have an extensive wine list here as well but I would definitely recommend coming here and once again it deserved its own video so if you want to see more go ahead and click on the top right hand corner or in the description below and you'll see it. Alright so there you go we ate our way through the keys from Key Largo to Ala Murada to Marathon to to the Key West or actually Sunset Keys but I hope you guys enjoyed this I actually have more coming up about seafood and then about different ways to eat key lime pie variations if you liked this video if it was helpful to you please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more of my vacation tips for the Florida Keys where to go where to eat please subscribe and stay tuned